you know, nothing much to them, and but saying basically, believe us and obey us because we, the church, are against it. So don't don't ask questions. Almost. Mm -hmm. And she said, it's a wonderful image for a click. She said, every one of us has in our subconscious what it's like to live as a woman in a patriarchal world. Every every woman has this. And this she used the image of the time of a file folder. And when there are things that happen because you're a woman in a patriarchal world, she said, um, and you don't want to face them and have them really be conscious, you just file it away in your subconscious file. And she said, but what happened that night was what he did, just put one page or one bit of data too much in that subconscious file and it just exploded. Wow. And I love that image. Yeah. Um, it's got a good psychological, I mean it's yeah. like repressed it's memory or repressed this, whatever, yeah. you know, it's, it's very valid psychologically. But her point was that he just dropped that one bit of data, too many, into her file, it exploded, and she was just another person. Mm -hmm. And um, I've heard her also say, which I love, she said, there is no word in the men's dictionary for that feeling that a woman has when that file explodes and she realizes what it is like to live as a woman in mm -hmm. a world that does not value her equally, that is, you know, by all kinds of overt and covert and even subconscious on the part of the oppressor's yeah. Um, actions, yeah. diminishing her relative to the dominant. Uh, and call it love and honor. And call it all kinds of things. Yeah. Um, and so I just love that that whole story really just so resonated with me. I don't, I didn't have the, you know, personal experience that she did or the transformation that she did out of it. But when I realized about, read it about the ERA, I can't say I had a split second moment, but mm -hmm. just in a very short time, reading about it, saying what's to argue, and realizing what was argued was like, okay, no going back. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yep. Um, I think you need a break. I think I need a break. Yes. My left knee is starting to oh, be like, yeah, that's hey, not the best on me for a while. I'm good. I was good until about twenty minutes ago. Oh. Um, but we should have put you in a chair. Too. How about yeah? <laughs> Lie down on the floor. Um, let's have a glass of water. Recoup. Um, I want to ask you about your play, and I want to ask you oh, about sure. um, your ideas about alliance, and maybe about the future, and Love get it. some get some. Because I don't want I don't yeah, ever want to end any of these on. And right. it's 1983, and it's all over. Yeah, that's right. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's so just good. not a good place to stop. So you have to. Yeah. The yeah. Okay. yeah, I gotta turn these guys off. And yeah, what um, sounds good to you? Well, come on down. You're down. Yeah, yeah. I found those. First.